Okay, hi. Uh, so I'm Samuel Papa. So uh, why I'm presenting here is uh, because of the Google Summer Pro project that I did in 2010. With, uh, Danny was my mentor and he's sitting here. And then, uh, yeah, also I continued the project with uh, doing other stuff like using RDFIO to, to hook up BIOS with SMW. And this is a project uh, at Tokyo University. So, so yeah, what I want to do here is I want to kind of go quickly, or I don't know, quickly, but go through the design decisions made in RDFIO and show some of the stuff where we are at, and, and then basically get feedback on on like the design decisions. And it's currently. Yeah, so because I, I will still need to continue to develop it and there's still room for changing architecture stuff as well. So why would you like to hook up with semantic media with, with external tools? So uh, I come from biosciences or life sciences, so we, we got the use, use case where we want to kind of in an exploratory way, develop the data schema and of course a big is good for that. And uh, you do that more or less manually, but then we want to combine that with automatically populating the wiki from tools where you generate data. So you, you don't need to add all the triples, like pages manually. Um, yes. And we need something that supports both. And what we figured out is that uh, the combination of a tool such as Bioclips with Semantic Media Wiki would be great because uh, Bioclips uh, is a bioinformatics workbench. I will talk more about it, but it has it has uh, scripting support, so you can kind of automate the generation of pages. If you could be able to talk to Semantic Media Wiki from Bioclips, you could automate things. <coughs> So it's also an open source project and so on, as semantic web support and so on. So it, it seems like like we want no, it should be able to connect it uh, with a Sparkle endpoint. And what I want, wanted to show here as well is that yeah, from BioClips you, you get stuff from databases, your own experiments. It could be normal experiments and also you do some computational experiments in BioClips and from literature and then uh, put it out into the semantic media wiki and let your peers help you to annotate the data maybe and then you might, might you might want to get back the data to Firefox and that adds some challenges which I'll talk more about later. So um, and these are the challenges. But there were some problems with semantic media wiki for working in this kind of fashion. And one of them, there was not really an RDF import of just normal triples. There was this uh, ontology import or something for it. Um, and then, next thing is that, it, yeah, you want to choose wiki titles in a sensible way. You don't want to use the full RDF URI as a title for a wiki page when you import stuff. And and also you want to, in some way, keep the format of the data. When you export data again from Semantic Media Wiki, you want to use the same triples that you use to import it. And that is not done by default. By default, when you export data from Semantic Media Wiki, you get something like this. You, you arrive with solver stuff. Maybe you have seen that if you have checked the, checked the RDF source, which is output. Pages. So that's became a new extension which I developed, as I said, as a Google Summer project. So this is just summarizing. Uh, it, it depends on you know, some extensions. The current status is oh, needs a lot of work to be fully useful. We have a proper concept. So this is just a quick overview of the architect architecture. All rights. Um, are done through Semantic Media Wiki Writer, which actually updates uh, the normal wiki pages. Uh, and then this 
results in triples which are stored in the triple store. But then there's this variable endpoint included here, so you can ask stuff. But then that is not directly from the triple store. So the first problem then, choosing wiki page titles for RDF entities. So we'll have some example data. This is something yeah, from, from science then, uh, the molecule with a spectrum, which each has a lot of peaks with some values. And this is how it looks. We will look closer to it later. So the problem here, the first in the first version of when I just managed to create pages and import stuff, the titles for the pages didn't look that nice. These are links to pages so from, from this page then. So not that nice. So how do we do, go about that? So let's take a look at the RDF. If there's some stuff that we might use to uh, kind of uh, choose a good wiki title. So there's a lot of stuff. For example, you have this the Dublin Core vocabulary, which has stuff like title. So anybody of these should be maybe quite sensible to use for for the molecule and then for the spectrum. We you often you might have some some custom identifier that you introduced yourself in, in, in the experimental data. And, and then for the spectrum, we didn't really have anything suitable, but then, then as a last case, we might use, if the URI is, is unique, there might be some part in the URI that you can use. So, so that's also could be an option. So basically, RDF value uh, is constructed to, to support this, this, this. So, and how to do that technically? Well, we're doing it both in as a default setting in local settings and in, and in, in interactive form. So in local settings, you can kind of specify something that is kind of a pseudo namespace that the triples that look like this, they will be split here and then, yeah, okay, yeah, it will create the name, it's a pseudo namespace named this, we replace this long URI with this string. And then you can also say that these properties will be used to choose a title. Yes. And this is the screen. Click something and then you can you can uh, specify the same things that you saw before you can specify in a form. So after this was implemented we had some more sensible big titles. Each peak as its pseudo namespace peak, colon, and then using the, the part of the URI, etc. So the second problem was that we wanted to, as I said, uh, use this triples, no, the URIs that we used when we imported, we want to export as well. So the, the solution so far is that we added the original URI property. It's added by the import functionality. And actually, this solves the problem. Then it's possible to do some mapping afterwards in an ad hoc fashion, so that you can, can click in the Sparkle endpoint form. You just click that you want to query by original URI and also output stuff in original URI. So we solve these two problems basically. So now we can go on and hook it up with Bioclips in this in this case. So this shows a Bioclips script. I also developed a Bioclips module in, in this second project that I mentioned. So it's basically JavaScript, and SMW is a Bioclips module that is available now. So you add triples, you yeah, you specific this URL, and you have this namespace, which is basically telling that what comes here is a wiki page type. You can refer to wiki page titles and as triples and then get back the data and, and do some sparkling on it and show the results. Just, just show the results. So, basically, the use case is now possible. So, basically, that's it. And uh, I will just show a few slides about uh, some real-world usage that my Avon is doing as well. 
correctly with this extension, so he tried to import some data he had and well, automatically import them and show some visualization. And also, uh, when he had the data, he, uh, this is an example where he, from R, there is an RDF extension for R that, so you can pull data from RDF IO through this particle endpoint to some table output. So these Egos examples are available on these links in the bottom. So the outlook the future. So as I said, the proof of concept is there. And some things where I really need to fix and I hope to do that soon and update to make it compatible with SMW 1.6 and fix some uh, blocking bugs. Then uh, I really would like to, to make some bigger architectural changes, like don't be dependent on so many different other stuff and so on, and align better with new semantic media video architecture and so on. So, yeah, that's it. So basically, now, now comes the time for feedback and discussion and, and so on. As I said, possible collaborations and sharing ideas. Thank you. This um, interplay between semantic media, wiki, bio clips, and R, is this described anywhere? Is, can we like, figure out? So far, so far on Egon's blog, <laughs> this looks. Uh, I'm not. I don't think he has published anything yet. It's too recent. So feel free. Any impressions or thoughts? And what do you think? How how much effort is it to to adapt it to the to the new semantic media wiki functionality? Because I guess you. You would have also advantages, but still you would need quite a lot of modifications to your extension. Yeah, I guess it depends on, on what functionality you need. Yeah, the triple store um, right. connection, which is in core already. Yeah, well, I, I would say RDFIO is, is not that uh, not that heavy. It's mostly blue code between these different libraries. So I think it should not be if I would be able to work full time, maybe a few weeks or something, but that my problem is the kind of a lack of time. But hopefully, after the conference, I will be more excited and so on. As far as I understood it, you you want to use um, SW as an RDF editor. This is one yes. of the use cases. Basically. Yes. And so, have you come up with some some wish list for a semantic media wiki? which would be very nice to have so that your use case is much more easily implemented. Because at the moment, a semantic media wiki basically, it um, doesn't show the RDF data model to the user. It doesn't want to do it, of course, but in, in your case, it's more like, I want to show the user the RDF data model. Yes. And so maybe you are going into another direction than SMW, and that is why you've got such difficulties. Yeah, but what I actually want to do is, not exactly as you say, because what I want to do is to turn it into the wiki format, because that's much easier to understand and to edit. For example, having this a more sensible way to represent things with wiki titles, peak and some identifiers, instead of this long stuff, which makes you confused as soon as you look at it. So, and then, so basically, I want to turn it into more user-friendly and then turn it back to RDF. So I want to take advantage of the, the ease of use of the semantic media. Then a wish list for semantic media wiki. Well, I talked to Marcus about if, if the, for example, the original URI stuff, if, if that could be more like implemented more in the core or something. Well, it doesn't seem like we have a really clear idea of how and how, how that could be done, or if that should really be done for for some other I don't think. I don't know. Yeah. 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 
because I, yeah, then. I just wanted to ask about POM. Um, is the Sergey anyway updated still, or is maybe the service issue one? Yeah, I, I've been thinking about that. Okay. Uh, maybe I forgot to mention it. I think it was interesting. So, somebody told that he's basically not uh, doing work on that anymore. Right. It's mainly focused on SMW, right? You can you can uh, add it. Yeah, change change properties, right. get semantic forms, you know, uh, templates, values. Yeah. So, do you, do you think, for example, that currently I use SMW Writer? Will I still need that, or? I think you can replace that safely because we look at that SMW Writer page object model, and uh, enterprise has the data uh, I O, right? Something like data access. Yes. 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 So we, we, we look at all the uh, functions, we combine them into one uh, extension called wiki option model, we enhance right. it a little bit. Uh, we're still trying to add a little more small uh, additions, such as uh, make a virtual page and by, you know, if you have a query, but like ask query, right? You can't make a simple virtual page by just clicking the query there and we will return you the result. You can also change the parameters there too. But but there's there will be no like big architecture changes on it. You're right, there's it's quite we've been uh, using it for a while, we've also yeah. developed other extensions based on that. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't uh, expect there would be any uh, architecture changes. So I uh, also I, I I think there has been a little bit of confusion by the way on different uh, Sparkle and import export uh, extensions in Smartwick Media Wiki. There is on some page somewhere there's a table or matrix of telling all the features of these, and it seems like somebody are telling that they are also doing an import of the like triples or RDF into and updating the Wiki articles. So I wonder actually, is there something? Is there any module or something that? Can import RDF and update the wiki articles, like update the facts in the articles themselves, not only in the triple store. You mean the in real time or batch mode? Import the uh, RDF triples into the wiki, right? Yeah, into the wiki, not only the triple store. Right. It's, it's and not only displaying results of uh, last query. So we have extension with right. the topologies, and create annotations. Exactly. Yeah, but the, the, like all and all ontologies, that's basically the structure, right? No, including including basic RDF. Okay, basic RDF scripts, right? Okay. And we um, in my presentation, you will also see that we have a similar approach, like you, like you namespaces to be able to distinguish the same name in different namespaces. Right. Well, according to that table you're talking about, linked wiki. The linked wiki extension yeah. also does that. Uh, that's accurate. Though. Yeah, it says that. It says that, but I, I'm not too really sure. I haven't seen any proof of that. Actually. Yeah, it seems like there's a confusion because some people say mean that if you can do an R square and show results in in 
wiki page, then it's updating the wiki page, and that, that's not the same thing when you don't update the source of the article. So, yeah. I'm not sure. Any more impressions, feedback, questions? I guess many projects use this approach to map RDF and import it somehow into the wiki, but as far as I see it, there's no generic solution for it. Right. And maybe it would be a very nice thing. There was this uh, RDF import quite a while ago in SMW, but uh, it was <coughs> abandoned. So maybe it was uh, not used, on, uh, not useful at that time. But, but that, was, as, that was only old, right? Yeah, it could be that it's more was only in the oh, sorry. Okay. Did, did you import general RDF cripples, or was it just no. old? Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, the import was very basic. I mean, I, it didn't check our compliance, and it, it, it was able to import data in, in a general sense. But uh, so RDF would be covered. But the way it did it didn't preserve the URIs. It really was meant to import the data and to, to give you the structure in the wiki, and not really to, to have the URI mapping after that. And it was a it, it was a more prototypical thing, which we had only in, in the alpha and beta versions. Yeah, well, basically, it uses the R2 libraries. It creates some really random identifier for that. So, and if I need R2, I guess I need to generate it. Of course, uh, it's not nice, but if you don't have anything, you don't have anything. So, so I, I guess you have, will have, I mean, there will be that perspective by comparing these two, but maybe that comes in your form. Do you have yeah, I'm my focus somewhere else, but uh, okay. you might see certain things which I'm interested in. Right. Good, yeah.